Hello, this is Nick. Today I'm going to show you how to migrate from Exchange over to Office 365. Um, now, if you're either a small business, um, maybe a nonprofit, um, or just a tech who's trying to move from um, Exchange 2003, 2007, 2010, um, and you want to switch over to Office 365, which is something I do recommend doing, a much better product than Exchange, for many reasons I won't go into. Um, it's it's a little tricky though. Um, if Exchange is not set up, you can't uh, do it properly. It's not set up properly, that is, um, using the built-in tools that 365 provides. So then you run into the situation where you have to export PSTs, and if you have a lot of um, user accounts, that can be problematic. So I'm going to show you the best way that I've found to do this, um, the quickest. One costs a little bit of money, and the other way is free. So I'll show you both. Uh, the easier way that is the way that costs money, and it's about $299 is the software that I've found to use. And then if you want to do the free way, it's just going to take you more time. So first thing you want to do, um, because it's a little bit tricky to, to do this, is we want to set up um, all the user accounts. And we want to set them up in the cloud. So you can do this by um, uploading a Excel file and just getting all the accounts. Or you can just copy and paste um, from an existing uh, Excel file as well. Um, if you do a CSV file, it's very particular on how to organize and how to name all those things. But as you can see, I've set my names up, set my account up. Um, and I might be skipping some steps. Uh, of course, before this, you need to verify the domain. I'm going to basically just be showing you how to migrate from an existing exchange. So um, if you need help actually getting everything set up from zero, I would recommend watching another video on that. But we've set up all our accounts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm logged in remotely to um, my old 2003 server here. And we're going to want to basically give permission to export this. Um, the way that I'm recommending that we export it, and the easiest way that I've found the quickest as well, is the system tools um, exchange to Office 365 migrator. So let me open that up. Um, basically what this does, you need Out, Outlook installed um, on the server, actually. I'm doing this directly from the server. It can be anything, just Outlook 2003 or 2007. Um, get that installed and make a, a dummy profile. Um, it doesn't actually have to send receive anything. You just need that installed for it to work. You need .NET um, installed as well. Now what I recommend you do before you buy this product, and this is about a $299 product, um, but there's no limit on how many you can upload, how many accounts you can upload. I recommend that you actually download the demo first, get everything set up, and do a test upload before you buy the product. Uh, there might be certain issues with your system that doesn't allow it to work, so I recommend you do that first. Um, okay, so once you have got the product installed and you've found the actual user account that you want to export, let's say, example a house what you want to do to test the permissions is you right click and hit view if the permissions uh, of this user I'm in logged into administrator is working then basically it should show you right here uh, mail accounts calendars things like this this basically means that the software has permission to access the user account let me see if I can find an account if we go into user here and hit view Basically saying, I do not have permission to access this user. I'm going to show you the steps uh, to fix this issue, because this is one problem I ran into. So to give permission, and um, oftentimes you have to give permission on a couple of th these different migrator tools, is you're going to go to Active Directory, and you're going to find the user account. User. You go to properties, you know, exchange advanced, you're going to go to mailbox rights, 
and basically now you're going to click advance again now you're going to hit add and you're going to put in the user account that you're currently logged into I'm just logged in as administrator you can hit check names find the correct one that looks correct now hit OK now you want to just put in full mailbox access just check that off and then hit OK basically saying that administrator has full rights to read, write, edit, do anything it wants to with this particular user account. So we just hit OK, OK, OK. Now we can go back to the account and we can test to make sure that works. And there's actually only one email uh, in this whole account. So um, not something I think I'm actually going to migrate over. But let me show you the, f the next step here. So um, now let's say I want to move over, actually I do want to move over this account. And I'm going to hit next here. So I'm going to move over these two accounts. Now what you're going to want to do on this step is you're going to put in the email address um, that is set up on Office 365. Now let's say you're still getting mail into your um, Exchange account, and you want to maybe still have that go for a couple days until you know everything's working and uploading and testing. What you can do is you can rename. I'm actually just going to go back to this whole thing. Um, let me just look at the R Tremblay account. Go down here on Tremblay. We're going to hit edit. You can re rename this to an on Microsoft account. So instead of saying bbbsos.org, we can say it on Microsoft. And we can save that. And then change this portion right here to also be on Microsoft. What that will allow us to do is upload that and get that working. Um, if you don't switch over the DNS settings to pointing basically to the new domain, you're going to need to do the on Microsoft with all the accounts first. And then it's a simple matter of going to the settings here and switching back to the correct domain. I've already pointed my domain um, to the BBOS, which is the correct domain. So I'm basically getting no more email into my exchange. It's all going to the 365 account. Now you could select all and then just do a big edit and then quickly switch over everyone to the on Microsoft or back, back and forth. So it's a quick way to uh, switch back and forth and get all the email transferred. It might take sometimes two or three days, depending on how much email you have, to transfer everything. So it, rather than tell the client that you have to basically shut, don't do email for two or three days, um, you can get everything switched over to on Microsoft, verify everything, and then you can actually run this software again and then just instead of sending over all the email all over again, you send just two days worth of email. And that, of course, moves a lot quicker than, um, than just doing the entire thing all at once. Um, oops, so actually, <laughs> putting this into the wrong account. I'm gonna put this into the right account. Now, if you by accident did, let's say, uh, I don't want Jack to go to this account, but let's say I, by accident, I, I had hit it. The easiest thing to do would be going to delete the ex account online and then just read add it back in and that's gonna wipe it out because uh, he's not currently using this account yet. So if during a migration, you might mess up something by accident don't worry about it, just go back in, delete. Your, your exchange server is basically your backup. So um, we're not, this, this program doesn't actually modify anything in the exchange, in the exchange server. So um, here we can see what we want to move over. I'm just going to choose everything. And that email filter that I was talking about before, if you wanted to just grab the two days maybe that you're doing the transferring, you could grab just these two days. And delete emails from mailbox. I prefer always to have a backup, so I would never do this. Um, but if you want to free up space, I guess you could. So we're going to export. Now sometimes this errors out. Um, 
it, it could be just because it's incorrect password. It could be uh, the permissions might not be set right. So after you do these transfers, you want to basically come back, verify everything got sent. Uh, so I have a permission issue right here, actually. So that's why these, these two errors out. So I'm going to basically need to go and reset the passwords um, online, make sure that everything's set up correctly. I'm going to do that, and then I will uh, resume. Um, but basically, it's going to upload four email accounts at a time. And I had one email account that's about 100,000 emails. That took about uh, two days to transfer. Uh, maybe 1,000 accounts might take about, 1,000 uh, email messages might take about an hour or something. Give you kind of a good idea of how long this would take. But, I mean, for, I don't know, this is probably about 40 accounts. Uh, it took about full 24 hours to upload um, because it does two accounts at a time. Now, you can actually install the software on a second system and get it running as long as it's, as it's connected to the old domain. It cannot be on the new domain you have set up or the new, as long as it's on the old domain, you're good to go. Um, so that is that. Now that's that's the paid for, that's the easy way to do it. Um, the not so easy way, but still works, is you can export all these um, via PST. So what you can do is basically you can go in I think we have Outlook set up already here. So we can open up Outlook. And basically, I already have Administrator set up, as you can see. Um, and we have another additional email account. So basically, what I could do here is I could export all of these to a EXP, um, PST, I'm sorry, import export. And it's going to be a little bit slow because you're doing two processes now. You're exporting it to a PST file, and you're also then having to set up all the accounts on, I would suggest, a new or faster server, um, but a generally a different system, and then import the PST, and then upload that. So you'd go through here, um, export to a file, Basically, every account you have to export to a PST, save it in a shared location. Um, and to view all the accounts here, we already went, I showed, in, showed you how to give administrator full access to the email accounts. But basically, we're going to go into here to account settings. That's a little different depending on which version of um, Outlook you use. Uh, one thing to note, you can't use Outlook 2013 with Exchange 2003. The two versions just don't work, and if you want to upgrade to the latest version, you have some problems with that. So, um, so you're going to go into Change, you're going to go to More Settings, you're going to go to Advanced, and here you can see I have a couple of extra mailboxes, Intern, April House. You can just go through here and add all the accounts that you want to add, and um, should add, add David, for example. Here it is. Just hit apply, and then his inbox is going to show up here, and this will allow me to export his inbox or his PST file. Just another additional way to back it up, and then I would set up a new system with Office 365 this time. Uh, do the same thing, add all the counts. They would all be empty starting. And then just import, 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 import. Uh, it might not be that bad for you, um, depending on the speed of your system. Um, just a couple extra steps, but uh, definitely a way to do it for free, as long as you have Outlook. You know, not, not that too bad of a way to, to do it. Um, and it just gives you an additional backup. So that about takes care of it. There's a couple other products out on the market, but all, oftentimes they charge you per um, mailbox, which I don't like if you have a lot of mailboxes you can really get expensive. So this software, System Tools, um, seems to work pretty good. Uh, I had two or three of them that failed, so I got to go back in there, see if it just had incorrect password, see what exactly was, was going on. But that's not that bad. Even if I had to get those last two via PST uh, export and import, that would not be that bad for me. So I uh, hope you liked my video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments, and um, have a good day.